Now there's no question that we are living in a weird time right now. Lockdowns, they do more than just take its toll on the economy. They also beat us down from a well-being and mental point of view. So today I'm gonna to do something a little different. Normally I'm coming at you with training tips and techniques, but I wanna look at a couple of things that you can incorporate into your life at this moment in time that are gonna help you through this period. First, keep to a routine. Get up at the same time each day. Make that same morning cup of coffee at the same time. Set the same hours each day that you do your work or your study. Set the same break times each and every day. And at the same time, be sure you set a time to switch off. Number two, daily cardio. Be sure that in amongst your routine, you at least once a day get out of the house and go for a walk. Cardio has been shown to release feel-good endorphins, improving state of mind. Along with the mental benefits, the benefits to your cardiovascular health, there is also the benefit of burning calories from all those lockdown snacks. Number three, daily connect. Organize a Zoom call, at least pick up the phone and connect with someone you haven't spoken to in a while, someone outside of your bubble. Now is the time to check in on people. Letting them know you're thinking about them can make a world of difference to their mental health, not to mention yours. Number four, good nutrition. Continue to watch what you eat. Keep your daily nutrition clean and nourishing. The biggest danger that people have right now is eating out of boredom. Now you eat out of boredom every day of every week of this lockdown, you're gonna be putting on unwanted body fat, which in turn is obviously gonna leave you feeling not great about yourself. Eat clean, eat to set times. Keep your same routine of health support sups in play. Now this will not only do your waistline favors, but your state of mind as well. Number five, resistance train. Sure, you don't have gym access at the moment, but it's still important that you put those muscle groups to use. The old rule of use it or lose it definitely applies here. Even if you only have a little amount of equipment, use what you have and place those muscles under some form of resistance. This again will release feel good endorphins as well as putting the brakes on regression. So there we go guys, a few tips that you can incorporate into your everyday life at the moment. We don't know 100% how long this lockdown's gonna go for. Hell, we don't even know if this is the last one that we'll face. So it's important for us to be able to adapt routines and practices that help us remain efficient, give us a purpose, and just keep a healthy state of mind. I'm Tyrone Bell, and I'll see you on the next Home Edition.